Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing about fractions, decimals, and percents. This is one of your lessons in business mathematics subject. So, we have here the presentation of fractions, decimals, and percents. You have for fractions, as we all know, you have one fourth. Decimals, you have 125 or 25 hundredths. And percents, you have 25 percent. The session outcomes, you are expected to identify equivalences between fractions, decimals, and percent. To identify the relationship between fractions, decimals, and percent. Now, what are fractions, decimals, and percents? Fractions, decimals, and percents are different ways of representing part of a whole. This is a very common topic, by the way, because you have experienced, you have encountered this lesson when you were still in ele the elementary or grade school and even in the junior high school. So, we have here, we could say, we could say, uh, just for a moment, we could say 50% of something or one half or 0.5 or 5 tenths, they are all the same quantity. Now, what are fractions? Now, a fraction describes part of a whole when the whole is cut into equal parts. Now, take a look at the five. Now, this or this circle. This circle has been cut into four equal parts, and these equal parts are called fourths. A fourth is written as one fourth. And the three red sections in this figure, we we have this dark green, the three dark green sections equal three-fourths, which would be written as three-fourths. Now, the fractions can be converted into other forms. You have the fractions that can be converted into percents and decimals, as well as percents and decimals can also be converted into each other. Then same value, different forms. A same value can be written in different forms. For example, one half as a fraction, 0.5 as a decimal, or, or we, have, we also read that one as 5 tenths, then percent as 50%. Now converting a fraction into a decimal, we have here divide the top of the fraction which is the numerator by the bottom or denominator or the fraction one half is equal to one divided by two is equal to 0 0.5. Now let's have the time to try converting a fraction into a decimal. Number one, fraction to convert is three four. Divide three, which is the numerator, Divided by 4, which is our denominator, then the answer will be 75 hundredths or 0.75. Therefore, 3 fourths is equivalent to 0 0.75. Converting a decimal into a percentage, you have here multiply the decimal by 100. So that's 125 or 25 hundredths times 100. That is equal to 25%. Now, time to try converting a decimal into a percent. Now, the decimal to convert is 0.75. You have multiplied the decimal by 100. That is 0.75 times 100. The answer would be 75%. Now, 0.75 is equivalent to 75%. Now, considering that you have here 100, uh, instead of squares, uh, rectangles that are with equal measures or measurements, okay, or say with equal area. So, we have 75 out of 100 rectangles are shaded. Then, 0.75 or 75%. 
4, 75 over 100, which reduces to 3 fourths. Then let's have here an example where there's we have three columns for the fractions decimals then percent then for fractions if you have three fourths the decimal equivalent will be 0.75 and the percent equivalent the percent equivalent will be 75 percent for fractions 2 over 8 or 2 8 the decimals is 0.25 and the uh, percent equivalent is 25%. Just following the procedure on how to convert from fraction to decimal and to percent. Then 3 over 6, that's 0.50. Then for the percent, you have 50%. Fractions, if you have 3 over 10, that's 0.30 hundredths or 3 tenths. Then percents, you have 30%. If you have a fraction 2 fifth, the decimal equivalent would be 0.40 and the percent would be 40%. Now, there's a hint. Now, fraction to a decimal, divide the numerator, the top, by the denominator, which is the bottom. So, from decimal to a percent, just multiply the decimal by 100. Then, since our topic today is very, very simple, it's just a piece of cake for you, uh, let's proceed to the assessment. So we have fractions, decimals, and percent. So I was just going to read the given we have here a table with three columns. The first column is percentage. The second is fraction. The third is decimal. Now for percentage, you have there 10% followed by 40%. Then we have 70%. Then 25%. For fraction, we have 3 tenths or 3 over 10. We have 3 over 5, then 9 over 10, then we have 3 over 4. Then for decimal, we have 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and 0 0.8. Okay? So, I hope that everything is clear as this is just very, very simple video lesson. Now, so... Before I'm going to end this video, let's have a quote for today. People do not believe that mathematics is simple. It is only because they do not realize how complicated life is. Okay? I hope you learned something or it's just a, uh, a sort of review or a refreshment of your topics when you were still in the elementary and in the junior high since it is still part of your uh, lesson in business mathematics. So that would be all for today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!